Good day, and uh, welcome to the Holy Mass from St. Andrew's Church in Taunton. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We just pause for a moment, asking the Lord to remove the worries and the distractions from our minds. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did, for through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of the freemen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, costing him and seizing him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witness who testified, this man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Word of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Princes me to talk against me. Your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tyrus, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. From, for on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Good day again. We just zoom in now on those words in John's Gospel this morning. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. You know, we are human and we're always thinking about this world. And in a way, we're looking down but we're reminded of the scriptures at Easter. Why are you looking down instead of up? You know, we often say that there's only one thing that will go out of this world with us, and that is our good deeds that we have done in this life. You know, the saints, those who have made it to heaven, when they were on earth, their feet were always on the ground. They were always practical about life. Their feet were on the ground, but as they went through their daily life, they were always thinking about not so much this life, but the life to come. In other words, their head was always in heaven as they went through their daily life. You see, with that mentality, the storms, the crosses, the difficulties of this life, when they come, they won't blow us away because our feet are rooted on the ground in a practical way, but our head is always thinking about where we're going. We have to keep that in mind as we go through this life, that the crosses and the difficulties that we endure for love of neighbor will make sure that we will be rewarded in the life to come. We have to keep that in mind. And again, when Jesus speaks today in the gospel about do not work for food that perishes, we know where to get food for the body, but we also need food for the soul. And I realize right now that you cannot get food for the soul. In other words, the Eucharist. But God willing, this isolation will give you a greater longing for the Eucharist. After all, because we are human, at times we could take it for granted 
because every time you come to the Holy Mass, you can receive the Eucharist. But again, we continue praying these days that God will fill in those gaps to give you a grace at this time of your need when you cannot come here. Amen. Let us humbly now again on this Monday raise our hearts, our minds to our Heavenly Father as we bring the needs before him today. For Pope Francis, may God continue to give him courage and strength necessary for effective leading our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the promptings of the Holy Spirit guide them in working to protect sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen away from the church, may they hear the Lord's call to return and partake once again of the bread of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who give their time and talent to this faith community as lectors, music ministers, catechists, extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they enjoy eternal bliss in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's Mass is for Jermaine de Rogers and Jose Santos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue praying these days for all our sick in the area, a special way for those who are in our hospital, Morton Hospital here in Taunton. And we continue praying also for all those who are looking after the sick at this time, that God would give them a special grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, And we just pause for a moment in the silence of your own hearts. Heavenly Father, you know the needs of all who are listening and watching to this Holy Mass today. We bring all the prayers before you through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Saint Joseph, as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom 
our throne opened to the faithful. For his dead is our ransom from debt, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Edgar our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere. This is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. At this time, you can make a spiritual communion. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O oh virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, 
sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even till the end of time. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended now. Stay in peace, and God willing, straight away now we'll have the benediction and the miraculous medal novena. Hail the day that sees him rise, Alleluia. To his throne beyond the skies, 